come back always looking for something bright in your life during these times, might I suggest Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker is here. Okay, so Mark, I've been knowing you for a couple years now. I feel like Star Wars has been a part of your whole existence, like all your life, all of it though. Right, well, you probably have friends and family that are geeked out. They're yeah. part of the cult that is Star Wars, right? <laughs> it's a cult, y'all. It's yeah, a cult. You have no idea. Like, Star Wars, for all these young, even the people holding the cameras right now, like him and her <laughs> and him, they don't know. They don't know. I knew a world before there was Star Wars, and then it changed my life. Egad, what was that world like? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but they put me on the news for it. Take a look. <laughs> uh, I just liked the movie a lot. I thought the technical effects in it were real good. <laughs> what? what? You know, I'm right here. Wait a minute. We both came from the South. You don't think I I've been mocked my accent. whole life like that? I love it. Like, wait a minute, but even better than that. Y'all, let's look at his hair. How long can we get that hair again? Like, did you cut your hair long? I like love Darth the, Vader? The producer's putting up a full screen image of it right now. <laughs> oh. I do look. In my defense, kids, millennials, and then some, everybody in the 70s had a Darth Vader haircut. No, they didn't. <laughs> Right, it was just you. No. You know what I thought you were going to go for? I thought you were going to say, is it my mistake or does your hair look like it's a Wookiee? Oh, no. Whatever it was, it was Star Wars inspired and don't act like it wasn't, was it? No, but I would have gone for the Wookiee. I used to love I, I wanted Chewbacca to be my friend when I was a kid. I mean, who didn't know? Right? However, I did have a chance to sit down with Chewbacca. Uh, you know, Peter Mayhew played Chewbacca. Sadly, we lost him. He's now played by Junus yeah. in The Rise of Skywalker. And uh, I had a chance to sit down with him and Anthony Daniels, the Anthony Daniels. The Anthony Daniels? You don't know who that is, do you? I really don't. I was just trying to follow your lead. Right, thank you. I'm a super nerd, I'll admit it. Uh, this is C-3PO, the gold robot. Oh, I love him. And he was in all of the Star Wars, right? Yes. Anthony Daniels is the only person to have graced every single Star Wars movie. I applaud that loyalty, my friend. And some improvements have happened along the way. Take a look. I don't know what, whether I want to laugh at some of my favorite moments of this movie or cry because it's technically the end of this franchise. Or at least this saga. This saga, and that's fine. So let's be proud of it, and let's put it on the shelf and get it down every time we want to relive it. Got it. So for you, this has to mean a tremendous amount. I mean, this has been the bulk of your life now. It has. It really has 43 years. And uh, I'm so proud that I've reached this moment, so proud that I've been in all of them, and so proud that the, the, the saga is so great as it is, and what a, a final terrific ending this film is. That guy is awesome. Really? I could listen to him talk all day long because he sounds exactly like C-3PO. Because he is C-3PO! I love when you do an accent. I can't even compare it to your accent. But you know what else I love about this Star that? Wars? The diversity is so important. Oh, Representation yeah. is important. And to see John and Naomi in the incredible Star Wars yeah, franchise exactly. means so much to all the geeks who grew up like Marcus no, Allen. I, I, who looked like me, grew up like him, loved a Star Wars. Exactly. We can all be geeks and should be geeks. John Boyega did a great job. Naomi Aki did a great job. You had more diversity when Kelly Tran joined the fold. Yes. Not to mention female power. Yes, girl power, honey. Yes. Talked about that. <laughs> Yeah. I like that in this day and age where like almost every movie, even like big temple movies, yeah. feel like they've gone through the filter and they're homogenized yeah. and a little too polished. Yeah. This movie feels uh, organic. There's something great about it in that yeah. way. Yeah, and I think it, it kind of goes back to that that rustic feel that the old Star Wars had, you know, that mm. kind of mm. put together kind of community feel around it, not like mm. it's like a, mm. a community project. In the slightest, it's probably like the biggest. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> the biggest movie in the world. It's just a small little movie. It's <laughs> just a tiny little indie, you know. How great are they for Lady Power? I love all this girl power up and through this movie. Okay, so did you get to talk to Ray? Oh, I needed a segue. I was looking at the clock. We needed it out. That's perfect segue. Oh, yes, when we come back, yes, Ray herself talks about what it's like to be a bartender. Kind of. We'll explain when we come back to Extra Butter.